I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River. We will be doing a Colorado River update and wow it's looking pretty good still. We're still getting some precipitation here in the Colorado River. We have to scoot in here. We're going to start off up at Steamboat Springs almost an inch still. So this is good within the next 10 days. Vell 1.35 Aspen over here. You're talking about 1.46. Tell you right down here 0.89. Montrose around 0.79. We come down here towards Lake Navajo and you can see that they're still on this side of the divide. We're getting about 1.74 inches possibly. So this is good news. We scoot in a little bit closer. We come over here to Gunnison over by Blue Mesa and you can see that 1.08 up and then up here by Aspen they're talking about 1.77 now. The European model is calling for a little bit less but hey we'll take it down here by Lake Navajo. You're talking about 2.05. Tell you ride 0.76. So they're disagreeing up here by the Flaming Gorge probably the least amount over here and then uh, here not a whole lot but we will take this this is definitely good news for May 8th we're still getting a ton of precipitation here on this side of the divide and we will take it it is finally some good news for a change the weather in general overall was about average we were a little less than normal at one point we were a little over 100 but now we're down a little bit we'll see what happens let's go out to the graphs and see what's going on at each lake and we will do that now we'll start off at the flaming gorge as we start off at the flaming gorge your current water level 6027.31 feet and that was wednesday may 8 2024 at 7 p.m the level is 19.69 feet below full pool of 6047 changes since yesterday the lake is up 0.04 over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is also up 0.36 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 0. 52 feet over the last 30 days the lake is also up 0.36 feet however over the last six months the lake is down 1.82 feet not too bad for the flaming gorge to only lose 1.82 feet over the course of six months in the dry season that's pretty incredible we will take that what has happened over the last year you may be asking well the lake is up 15.10 feet a nice recovery from all those bad years so we will take it we are happy about that what is the inflows the inflows are currently 1,800 74 CFS. The outflows are 1,014 CFS. We go to your three-year bar graph. 6,018.79 feet in 2022. Last year we were looking at 6,012.21 feet. Today we're at 6,027.31 feet. And percentage of capacity is 82.33%. Let's roll down to Lake Navajo next. As we roll out to Lake Navajo, your current water level is 6,045.53 feet. And that was Wednesday, May 8th, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 39.47 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.13 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 1.09 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 2.70 feet. That's pretty good. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 4.25 feet. So we are getting into where the snow is starting to melt. The water is starting to come up. We will take it. Over the last six months, the lake is up 0.14 feet. So really, over the last six months, you didn't lose anything. However, over the last year, the lake is down 7.64 feet. So you take the good with the bad, and that's what we got. We are going to roll over to Blue Mesa next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa, your current water level is 7. 7,486.82 feet and that was Wednesday May 8th 2024 at 7 p.m. the level is 32.18 feet below full pool of 7,519 the lake ain't too far down. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0 0.10 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last 7 days, the lake is up 0 0.37 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 1.56 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 1.35 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is down 4.88 feet. However, over the last year, the lake is up 18.64 feet. Your inflows are currently 1,641 CF. Your outflows are 1,240. Three-year bar graph, we are looking at 7,435.41 feet in 2022. Last year, we were looking at 7,488.52 feet. 
Today we're looking at 7,487.56 feet, and that's what we got going on there. Your percentage of capacity, we are currently at 66.68%. We are going over to Lake Powell next. As we roll out to Lake Powell, your current water level is 3,561.30 feet. And that was Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. At 7 p.m., the level is 138.70 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.22 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 1.48 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is up 2.61 feet over the last 14 days. So the lake is finally starting to come up. This is fantastic news. We go to the last 30 days and it's up 2.73 feet. However, over 6 months we lost 11.14 feet. And that's during the dry season as they were releasing quite a bit of water down to Lake Mead. And over the last year, however, the lake is up 29.49 feet. So this is good news. We will take this positives always better than negatives for certain inflows are really good they're 18,853 so we're starting to get a nice good inflow as we're moving in towards may this will last probably till the middle of june maybe july if we're lucky if it keeps raining that'll be good so maybe outflows are 10,012 so we will take that three-year bar graph 3,523.06 feet in 2022. Last year, we're looking at 3,531.81 feet. Today, we're looking at 3,561.30 feet. Inactive pools, 3,490. And your dead pools, 3,370. On the flip side, full pools, 3,700. So percentage of capacity where you're currently 32.40%. It will go to yellow once we get to 33 so I'm anticipating that some point in time this year we will see what happens. And that's all I got for this. Let's roll down to Lake Mead next. As we roll out to Lake Mead, your current water level is 1,071. As you saw, we usually and generally peak around March 1st or so. And then it starts to slowly decrease just as you see here. And that's where we stand today. And that was Wednesday, May 8, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 148.60 feet below a full pool of 1,219.60 feet. And changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.17 feet over the last 24 hours they're starting to get into the grow season so there's more water needed but you got to remember the allocation of water is not too bad so we will see what ultimately happens the lake is down another 1.09 feet over the last seven days the lake is also down 2.02 feet over the last 14 days and then over the last 30 days, the lake is down 3.56 feet over the last 30 days. However, over the last six months, the lake is up 6.03 feet. So we will take that. Over the last year, the lake is up 20.15 feet. So we will take that 10,039 CFS. Your outflows, however, are 17,561. Three-year bar graph, we're looking at 1,057 eight in 2022 last year we were 1050.85 today we're at 1071 percentage of capacity we were at 35.91 percent so we're in the yellow and let's roll down to lake mojave next as we roll out to lake mojave your current water level is 642.66 feet and that was Wednesday, May 8th, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 4.34 feet below full pool of, of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.13 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.32 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.31 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.74 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 5.87 feet. Over the last year, the lake is down 0.09 feet. Your inflows are currently 15,446. Your outflows are 16,516. Three-year bar graph. We're looking at 642.39 feet in 2022. Last year, we're at 642.75 feet. And today, we're looking at 642.66 feet. Percentage of capacity, we are currently at 93.16%. Down to my favorite and final stop, Lake Havasu. Hello, everybody. Richard and 
and supercharge and b i hope all is well i know brad probably getting out of dodge he's probably up at lake shasta by now and i hope supercharge is enjoying the weather with his dogs we are heading out there now as we roll out to lake havasu the current water level is 448.15 feet and that was Wednesday, May 8, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 1.85 feet below full pool of 450. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.62 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 0.95 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 1.20 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 0.02 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 0.26 feet. However, over the last year, the lake is down 0.33 feet. Your inflows are currently 17,160 CFS, and that stands for cubic feet per second, for those of you who don't know, and outflows are the same. 10,721 cubic feet per second. We go to the three-year bar graph, 447.81 feet in 2022. 448.48 feet last year, 448.15 feet, and percentage of capacity is 92.20%. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope all is well, and we will see you back on the next one. God bless.